So if you care about democracy, hate anti-Semitism. There are many other reasons to hate it as well, but at least for that. It's fabulous to have you here in Oslo. Thank you for having me, it's great. Who was Adolf Eichmann, and how did he end up in an Israeli jail and eventually be put on trial in Israel? Why is Holocaust so important? I think it demonstrates in a way that nothing else does, that seemingly normal people can do horrifically abnormal things. They can be turned around. It's too simple to say all the Germans, and we're talking about hundreds of thousands of people who took part in the killing. I mean, 90% of them were away from the sites of the killing. They were the desk murderers, you know, making sure the train ran, making sure the Zyklon Bay. Logistics. The logistics. Many of them started out as very normal people, your neighbors, mm -hmm. and uh, changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. It's a reminder yeah. uh, that uh, it's too easy to say they all were abnormal people. Still, we see that there are trials. Why should genocide be persecuted still? I think, uh, first of all, there are very few trials. I think we've seen... Uh, Have there been too few trials, you think? Oh, absolutely. Most people got away with it. Mm. Germany didn't take it seriously until it's about 63, 64, after the Eichmann trial, Eichmann trial. I think it's important because there's a thing called justice. And when you do something horrific, you should, you should get the punishment for it. How do we combat uh, Holocaust denial? I think there are two kinds of genocide denial. There's hardcore genocide denial and softcore. Today, hardcore denial is seen as such a fringe mm. movement. Mm. But we do have softcore denial. Mm -hmm. Softcore denial, oh, are they talking about the Holocaust again? Why do we have to mm. go to the Holocaust? My kids have to go to the Holocaust Center. I don't know why, but they're making them go. Well, Another book talks. on the Holocaust, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. The reason to be so disturbed by the rise of anti-Semitism is it is an essential, existential threat to democracy. It's no healthy democracy has ever tolerated anti-Semitism in its midst and remained a healthy democracy. Mm. Prejudice is never good for a democracy. Mm. Um, but anti-Semitism is a bit different because it's a conspiracy theory. Jews are not ha just hated, they're feared. They're controlling, they're in power. Those are all the anti-Semitic tropes. Well, if you believe that that's going on, that there's a conspiracy controlling things, you don't have faith in the democratic elements, and that's a warning sign about the threat to democracy. So if you care about democracy, hate anti-Semitism. Are you an optimist? Yes, I am optimistic. Speaking now as a historian, there's no logical reason why Jews should still be around. Small people, millennia, they've survived as a minority, uh, often a persecuted minority, hated minority, whether it's by Christianity, whether it's by Islam, whatever. And yet they're still here. That's a good reason to be optimistic. Good. So thank you, Deborah. You're welcome. Thank you for having me and thank you for bringing me to Oslo. Thank you very much. <laughs>